Holly Fry, an editor here at HowStuffWorks.com, and I have been thinking about what the future of sports medicine is because I am a runner and I've suffered some injuries and had to see sports specialists. Uh, one thing that I think is really interesting is that, of course, sports medicine is driven by professional athletes and Olympians. That's really where a lot of the research goes is towards ensuring that their performance is optimal. But eventually, it almost always comes back to us regular people who engage in sports as a hobby or as just a, a side thing that we do. Um, a great example of that is kinesiology tape, which was originally developed for you know hardcore athletes and professionals, and now it's available in any sporting goods store. And that helps you know kind of support your um, tendons and your musculature, so that if you're sustaining an injury and you're trying to do uh, active recovery it will help promote healing in a more uh, rapid way. And so I think as we look towards the future and a more technology-driven approach to sports medicine, I think we're gonna get into some really interesting imaging and muscular mapping. There's a potential that, you know, in the times when your body is in its restorative phases, like sleep, there could actually be something like a scanner that literally scans you to make sure that those restorative um, activities are happening normally. Like your muscles naturally rebuild if you've um, exerted them in a way that's caused micro tearing. That's actually how you build strength. And sometimes if you're in a position that's not optimal, that rebuilding process can actually hurt you. For example, if you have like a foot problem like plantar fasciitis or tendonitis, naturally when you sleep, your foot sits kind of pointed down. And so if it's healing in that shortened pretend this is my foot, if it's healing in that shortened musculature uh, position, then when you get up in the morning and step on it, you're just going to create more um, stress and micro tearing. Whereas if you can have it positioned at a more um, 90, closer to a 90 degree angle, it's going to heal in its natural position and then you will experience less pain as you're healing. So if we could get to a point in the future where our homes are equipped with natural scanners so that as we sleep, it's monitoring our position uh, so that we are healing in an optimal way, we could be getting biofeedback instantaneously, whether it's through some sort of connector to our body that maybe even stimulates our muscular responses to put us in a proper position. And at that point too, you could even have uh, the biofeedback being sent to your regular general practitioner doctor or perhaps a sports medicine specialist that you're seeing if you're training for an event. I think we could eventually see sports medicine even affecting our regular day-to-day -day, uh, health so that it's not necessarily specific to people training for events, but even just, you know, the injuries that people sustain in their day-to-day -day lives. I think we could really see some advancements in an area that a lot of people suffer, which is back pain. So imagine if you could apply those same kinds of um, medical scanning technologies in a very casual, everyday way so that we could actually all live without back pain. How awesome would that be? And that's just one area that's going to impact us in the future, I hope. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.